The Roman Empire is known for its powerful army and its use of the gladius, a short sword that became the most popular weapon of the Roman military. The history of the Roman Empire spans over a thousand years, from the founding of Rome in 753 BC to the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD. During this time, the Romans fought many wars and battles, and the weapons they used evolved as the needs of their army changed. At the beginning of the Roman Republic, the standard weapon of the Roman soldier was the Asta, a long spear that could be used to thrust at enemies from a distance. However, as the Roman army began to fight in closer quarters, the Asta was no longer effective. This led to the development of the Gladius, which became the standard weapon of the Roman legions. The Gladius had a double-edged blade that was around 18 to 24 inches in length and a handle that could be held with one or two hands. The Gladius was not only used for stabbing, but also for slashing and cutting. The shape of the sword was designed to be versatile, allowing it to be used in a variety of situations. The Gladius was not a new invention, but rather an evolution of earlier swords used in the Mediterranean region. The earliest gladi were likely based on swords used by the Celtiberians, a group of Celtic tribes in what is now Spain. These swords were shorter and sturdier than other swords of the time, and their design made them well suited for close combat. The Romans may have encountered these swords during their conquest of Spain and adopted them for their own use. The gladius was not only a weapon, but also a symbol of Roman power and authority. It was used by the Roman army in many of its most famous battles, including the Battle of Cannae in 216 BC and the Battle of Zama in 202 BC. At Cannae, the Roman army suffered a devastating defeat at the hands of the Carthaginians, but the gladius allowed the Roman soldiers to fight fiercely even in close quarters. At Zama, the Roman army under Scipio Africanus defeated the Carthaginian general Hannibal, thanks in part to the use of the gladius. The gladius was also an important part of Roman military tactics. The Romans developed a technique called the gladius hispaniensis, or Hispanic sword, which involved using the gladius in a stabbing motion while holding the shield in front of the body for protection. This technique allowed the Roman soldiers to get close to the enemy and use their gladi to devastating effect. The gladius was not the only weapon used by the Roman army, however. The Romans also used a variety of other weapons, such as the pilum, a type of javelin, and the asta, a long spear. The pilum was a crucial weapon for Roman soldiers, as it was designed to pierce through enemy shields and cause chaos in their ranks. The asta, on the other hand, was mainly used by the early Roman army and was replaced by the pilum and gladius in later years. Another weapon used by the Romans was the pugio, a short dagger. The pugio was typically worn by officers and used as a sidearm. It was also used as a backup weapon in case the soldier's gladius was lost or damaged. So why was the gladius so popular in the Roman Empire? There are a few reasons. First, the gladius was an effective weapon in close combat. Its design made it easy to use in tight spaces, such as in cities or on ships. Second, the gladius was versatile, allowing it to be used for a variety of combat situations. Its short length and sharp point made it ideal for close quarters combat, allowing the Roman soldiers to quickly and efficiently dispatch their enemies. The gladius could also be used for thrusting attacks, making it an effective weapon against armored opponents. Additionally, the gladius was lightweight, allowing soldiers to wield it for long periods without becoming fatigued. The design of the gladius varied over time, with different types of gladi used for different purposes. The original gladius, known as the gladius hispaniensis, was designed for thrusting attacks and featured a long, narrow blade. Later, the gladius was redesigned with a shorter, wider blade that was better suited for slashing and cutting attacks. This new design, known as the gladius Pompeii, became the standard weapon of the Roman army. The gladius was not the only weapon used by the Roman army, however. In addition to the gladius, Roman soldiers were also equipped with a variety of other weapons, including the pilum, a type of javelin, and the asta, a long spear. These weapons were used to soften up enemy formations before the Roman soldiers closed in with their gladi. Despite the effectiveness of the gladius, it was not without its limitations. The short length of the gladius meant that Roman soldiers had to get up close and personal with their enemies, which made them vulnerable to missile attacks. To counter this, Roman soldiers were trained to use their shields to protect themselves from incoming missiles while closing in on their enemies. The gladius was also relatively expensive to manufacture compared to other weapons, such as the pilum, which was mass-produced and could be easily replaced. This meant that the Roman army could only equip a limited number of soldiers with gladi, which restricted their overall effectiveness. Nevertheless, the gladius remained the primary weapon of the Roman army throughout the empire's history.
It was used in countless battles, and its effectiveness on the battlefield is evident in the numerous victories achieved by the Roman army. One of the most famous battles in which the Gladius played a decisive role was the Battle of Zama in 202 BC. The Roman army, led by Scipio Africanus, faced off against the Carthaginian army, led by Hannibal Barca. The Carthaginians had a significant advantage in cavalry, and Scipio knew that his infantry would have to stand firm against the Carthaginian charge. The Roman soldiers, armed with their gladi, formed a defensive line and waited for the Carthaginians to attack. When the Carthaginian cavalry charged, the Roman soldiers held their ground and used their gladi to devastating effect. The Carthaginian cavalry was unable to break through the Roman lines, and Scipio was able to turn the tide of the battle in his favor. The gladius was also used in the conquest of Gaul, one of Rome's most significant military campaigns. Julius Caesar, who commanded the Roman army during the Gallic Wars, was a great admirer of the gladius and understood its effectiveness in battle. Caesar's legions were equipped with the gladius hispaniensis, the original design of the gladius. This allowed the Roman soldiers to use the weapon's thrusting capabilities to great effect against the Gauls, who were often armed with long spears and swords. The gladius's short length and narrow blade made it ideal for close quarters combat, and the Roman soldiers were able to use it to devastating effect against their enemies. In addition to its use in battle, the gladius also played an important role in Roman culture. The weapon was featured prominently in art throughout the Roman Empire, including in mosaics, sculptures, and paintings. These depictions often showed soldiers with their gladi unsheathed, ready for battle. The gladius also became an important symbol of Roman power and military might. The gladius was not the only weapon used in the Roman Empire, however. Other popular weapons included the pilum, a javelin used for throwing at enemy troops, and the asta, a type of spear used for thrusting. Additionally, the Roman army made use of various types of siege weapons, such as ballistae and battering rams. In conclusion, the gladius was the most popular weapon in the Roman Empire for several reasons. Its design was optimized for close combat, allowing soldiers to quickly dispatch enemies in tight quarters. It was also versatile, allowing it to be used for both stabbing and slashing attacks. The gladius was relatively easy to manufacture and maintain, making it an economical choice for the Roman military. Its effectiveness in battle, combined with its iconic status as a symbol of Roman power, ensured that the gladius remained the weapon of choice for Roman soldiers throughout the empire's history.